Using Logiform's publishing and workflow system, you can create a login page where registered users can log in and then be presented with the form or list of forms to complete. This tutorial walks through how to set up a workflow that provides this functionality. The first step is to design a form that will be used as the member database. Follow the steps to complete a form and add a couple fields so your form isn't blank. This form must include the username and password field from the special fields library. Now let's open up this form and submit an entry so we have a member in our database. Now we have a member database that we can use to provide authenticated access to our forms. Next, let's look at the forms we want to put behind the login. We're going to show how we can restrict access to a single form and how to show a list of forms to the logged in user. We have two forms here that we want to protect, our general requests form and our inventory request form. Within the form designer, we've added a hidden field to each of these forms called member ID. When we integrate these forms into our workflow, we'll automatically set that field to the logged in user's record ID. We can also populate other fields on the form. This will allow us to relate each submission to the logged in user, but more on this in a minute. Now let's create our workflow. In the workflow wizard, enter a name, a destination folder, and select that we do not want to publish any data. Enter some heading and footer text and then click Next. Next, select the member database to restrict access and secure the workflow pages. In the workflow designer, we're going to add a custom page for each form and select that we want to embed a form on each of these pages. In addition to that, we're going to select that we want to pass some of the currently logged in user's information into this form. Now we have a basic login system and we have two forms embedded inside. Next, on the main page, we can simply edit the content and create links to the forms. Let's test this out and see how it works. As you can see, we can now log in and select which form to fill out, and when we fill it out, it is automatically related to the currently logged in user via the record ID. The final thing we want to show is how you can set the start page so that upon logging in, the user is immediately taken to one of the forms. This setting can be found by clicking the profile name and then selecting the start page. Now when we log in, we're taken immediately to that page and not the menu. This concludes our tutorial on how to add a login page in front of a form or a series of forms.